Many thanks for joining us on the newsroom. The Minister of Works and Housing, Babatsunde Fashola, says speed violations rather than bad roads are to blame for incessant road crashes in the country, stressing that it accounts for 32.8% of all cases. The minister said this at a virtual seminar in commemoration of his 50th, uh, 58th birthday. According to him, the Federal Capital Territory recorded the highest number of road crashes, with Lagos having the highest number of booked offenders in January. Coast Marshal of the Federal Road Safety Corps, FRSC, Boboy Oyeyemi, also revealed that 2,233 Nigerians lost their lives to road crashes in the first four months of the year, adding that the number of old cars on the country's roads is disturbing. A former registrar of the Joint Admi Admissions and Matriculation Board, Jam Dibu Ojerinde, has been arraigned before a federal high court in Abuja on an 18-count charge of multiple fraud to the tune of 900 million naira. It was alleged to have committed the crime while it was in charge of Jam and the National Examination Council, NECO. Although Ojerinde denied all charges, he was ordered to be taken to custody until Thursday when his lawyers will formally apply for his bail. Inspector General of Police Usman Baba says no fewer than 5,000 police officers alongside the military have been deployed to wage war against insurgency in the northeast. Baba said this in Abuja when the Defense and Police Officers Wives Association, Depower, led by its president, Victoria Irabo, paid him an official visit. He said the military is fully supporting the police to ensure that Nigerians go about their lawful businesses peacefully. The IGP further urged Depower to continue to encourage their husbands to continue to give their best for the country. He noted that crime prevention and control requires lots of support from citizens and the military. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has set out plans to end social and economic COVID-19 restrictions in England in two weeks' time. Johnson confirms the government aimed to end restrictive measures on July 19, with a final decision to be taken next week. He said the step would eliminate formal limits on social contacts, the instruction to work from home, and mandates to wear face masks. Infections are expected to rise when rules are eased, but ministers believe deaths will be limited by vaccinations. Minister of Environment Mohamed Abubakar says Nigeria recorded 4,919 oil spills between 2015 and March 2021 and also lost 4.5 trillion barrels of oil to theft in four years. Abubakar disclosed this at a town hall meeting in Abuja organized by the Ministry of Information and Culture on the protection of oil and gas infrastructure. Lamenting the loss of revenue caused by the criminal action, the minister said the impacts of vandalism on oil facilities have not only caused pollution on the environment, what had consequences on local people, the nation's economy, as well as security. And Philippine authorities have retrieved a black box black box from an Air Force plane that crashed over the weekend on Jolo Island, killing more than 50 people in the country's worst military air disaster. The military chief, Cyrilito Sobejana, said a black box was retrieved on Monday and should enable investigators to listen to the conversations of the pilots and crew before the plane crashed. There had been earlier accounts from witnesses that some passengers had tried to leap to safety before the aircraft struck the ground, but the military chief said no one jumped from the aircraft before it crashed. The death toll from the crash rose to 52 on Monday, including three civilians on the ground after two of the 49 soldiers hurt in the crash succumbed to their injuries. And in sports, the first batch of Team Nigeria to Tokyo Olympics uh, will depart the country today. A statement from the media office of the Ministry of Youth and Sport Development reveals that the contingent, which is made up of two athletes, will be who will represent Nigeria in the canoeing and rowing events respectively. Two coaches and six officials will depart Nigeria via an Ethiopian airline flight from the Namdi Azikwe International Airport in Abuja. The second batch of the country's contingent will also depart for Kizarazu in Japan, where Team Nigeria will be camped on July 13. Nigeria will take part in nine sports at the Olympics, which starts on July the 23rd. And as the latest updates on the newsroom at this time, please join us again at the top of the hour for more.